If you need to request a copy of your tax return from the IRS, we can definitely get this done. It's with an IRS form 4506, and I will go through this in detail with you. It takes up to 75 days for these to process, and it's $30 per return. Now, if you need something quicker and you don't need the actual full tax return itself, you can get your personal or individual returns online using the Get Transcripts function that they have. I have a video on how to get this done, so be sure to check that out if you just need the transcript version. Now, if we need the full version, let's do it. Here it is, Form 4506. We gotta fill this thing out. I got a link in the description below on how to get this form, okay? It's pretty straightforward to fill out, though. Lines one and two, name and social. So if it was filed jointly, you make sure you do put the spouse's, on, spouse's info on the second line here. You need to put your current address on where they're gonna mail this tax return to, right? On line three, and line four is the address that was shown on the last return that you filed. Line five, if it needs to go out to a third party, like a mortgage company trying to get a house, uh, but if not, you can leave it blank. Line six is the type of return that you're requesting. So the 1040 is the individual return. I'm assuming this is most common here, but if you need like a business return, like an 1120, which is a C Corp or 1120S, which is S Corp, or the 941, which is a payroll form, you just put that there, okay? Line seven here is for the year that you're requesting, okay? So generally speaking, these are year-end tax returns. So like individual tax returns are the last day of the year, 1231, and then that year, right? So that's how we would do it, okay? Now, some business returns have what they call fiscal year ends. You'll probably know this if this pertains to you, but generally speaking, this is what we use, okay? These are $30, like I'd mentioned previously, per return requested. You have to use this information here bolded on how to write the check, because you'll have to include the check when you mail out this form to the IRS. So, Make it payable to the United States Treasury, put your social or your EIN or ITIN, I guess, on the memo, as well as the Form 4506 request on that check or money order, okay? Number of returns you're requesting, right? I got six here, so I'll put that there. 30 times six is 180. That's what my check will be for. Um, and then we got to make sure we check this box. They're not going to process this unless you say, yeah, I've read this thing. I sign off on it. Check that box. If you need, you can put your phone number there. You don't have to. And then obviously you're going to sign and date this, print your name. And then if this is a business, put your title there, like partner, president, et cetera. If it's joint, make sure your spouse signs this as well. Last but not least, where to mail this thing off to. Now, if you are requesting an individual tax return, you're going to use these mailing addresses here, depending upon what state you live in. So just be sure to check that out. Now, if you have a business return you're requesting, you're going to have to mail it to one of these addresses, depending upon, again, what state you live in. All right, well, that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Fill out that form 4506, include a check, $30 per return, allow up to 75 days for this to process here. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much.